Hello, my name is Anikö Mayor and I'm the Vice Director of Partium Christian University from Moradia, Romania. We started to work together with the Art Department in 2018 when I was a Fulbright Scholar at CCSU. As a mentor, I think it is very important to give our students a possibility, a chance to show their talents and their works. Today's exhibition features a selection of works of our students, the artists of the future. My colleague Sándor Barta and the students themselves will present the works in more detail. I do encourage you to explore them on your own and if you want to get to know us better then you can check out our website at www.partium.ro or find us on the social media platforms. You can come to visit us or study with us. I want to express my gratitude to the members of the art department and to Priya Green, the director of the gallery, for her help. Thank you and let's continue this great work. Dear visitors, I warmly welcome everyone to the exhibition of the graphic department of Parsium Christian University from Oradea, Romania. First of all, I would like to thank the art department of Central Connecticut State University for their kind invitation for doing this exhibition. I am convinced that this exhibition, like the five years ago, will be an important station in the long-term relationship between the two universities. Our exhibition is based on a narrow selection of the diplomas of the last four years. The works are very diverse in terms of form and genre. Some of them are difficult to classify into the usual categories or are located on their borders. Most of the works are in the field of graphic design, touching on many sub-areas such as visual identity, typography, lettering, illustration, packaging design, publication design or game design. These works are presented on collective posters which include all the important elements of the project. The visitor can find textual information in the lower right corner of each poster. We believe that these short texts contribute to a better understanding of the author's intention and the entire work. Another important part of the exhibition are the videos and animation created by the graduate students of our department of motion graphics. These can be seen on a monitor placed in the exhibition space. Finally, if you look at the exhibition poster, you will notice that the title of our exhibition is Best of Diplomas and Other Works. That means that in addition to diploma works, there are works that were not prepared for a diploma, but rather successful solution of an outstanding school assignment of the last year. For example, 36 days of type of the visual identity of the public critic event, which is our annual outdoor project. I hope my short introduction will help you to get closer to the works and of course I invite you to read the students own text about their works in the lower right corner of the posters. Please take a look at the exhibition and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Hi, I made the music video titled Jolti. It's about this little boy, the video's namesake, Jolti. He is a playful and very creative kid who always daydreams about what his future may hold. He longs for adventure, freedom and most importantly appreciation. He wants to achieve great things everyone will be proud of. The main drive behind my work is to entertain and spread a positive outlook on life. I dedicated this little story to a dear friend of mine and basically anyone else who needs a bit of encouragement to just think and remind themselves that it's okay to be unsure or anxious. But despite it all, just never cease to keep high hopes. Who knows, Roti could be any one of us. Like the chorus says, you could be the dragon slayer of a fairy tale and life will work out for you in the end. It is a great honor for me that one of my favorite projects has been selected for an exhibition organized at Central Connecticut State University. The exhibited work, named Solvo, is an educational board game designed by me, with the main theme being philosophy learned in high school. From the beginning of the design process, my goal had been to create a board game that could assist high school students in understanding philosophy and aid teachers in the teaching process. In terms of style, I drew inspiration from the minimalist approach, primarily influenced by the works of Frank Stella and Saul Levitt. In the end, I managed to illustrate 24 philosopher cards, including Plato, Immanuel Kant, René Descartes and many others, along with 50 philosophical concept cards in this style. The game is essentially based on breaking down complex terms into their elements and associating them with the names of philosophers. I believe Solvo is a project 
that can provide significant assistance to both teachers and students as an educational tool. 